Miser here. It's time to show you the last ride uh, in 2020. Also, I wanted to talk uh, with the, about the problem what I had uh, after the Parno event. But uh, if you haven't seen the Parno event, uh, I will show the card here and uh, you can uh, check it out. Bike started working uh, roughly and uh, when I tried to accelerate it didn't have any power and uh, when it was uh, idling uh, on uh, just a war warm idling it was uh, sounding uh, it was sound like uh, V2 <laughs> it's uh, like a chopper or something but uh, I will uh, put a video here so you can hear it yourself After uh, that problem, uh, I took the bike to my friend's uh, garage and uh, to told him uh, what was the problem. I also wanted to, that uh, my friend uh, made the valves adjustment and uh, everything uh, what, uh, what wasn't uh, done before. But uh, here are some pictures uh, what uh, my friend sent. Main problem, uh, what came out was a clogged uh, fuel uh, filter what was inside the tank. Like you see, it's uh, quite uh, rusted and it was filled up, so <laughs> uh, I thought uh, it was lucky I got home uh, from Parno because it's uh, 178 kilometers from there. But uh, uh, like I told you guys before, bike didn't have a lot of love before I got it. When he was uh, taking it apart, more problems came out. Wires were melted. And if uh, this will uh, go on, the bike uh, would uh, finally burn down, <laughs> because it was not very, uh, not very good there. Also, the like I told, uh, valves uh, were uh, out of sync. This uh, was uh, before uh, the synchronization, and this is after. When the valves uh, were not adjusted, uh, the I didn't had. Uh, low power, wait, I, I didn't have the uh, power on lo lower RPM. Also, when my friend uh, changed the wires, he put on the new heat protection, like I, like it's here, no, so the all the wires are now done like they should. Here is a video what I made after I got the bike back. It's uh, in front of my friend's garage. The choke is on because uh, I wanted to get the bike uh, quite warm. You can hear uh, how it sounds after the service and, not, and uh, compare it uh, what it was before. Now bike is ticking like new. Also when I took the last trip uh, I filmed uh, more uh, clips but the uh, camera had some problems and uh, few uh, front clips of what I made uh, are gone, but uh, that's why I'm uh, talking here. Uh, I took the bike uh, to its uh, winter home, uh, what is uh, 90 kilometers uh, from where I live. I will show you some uh, better clips uh, what was on the Kerber roads and uh, beautiful scenery. And uh, also when I got there, I got. Uh, I changed my clothes uh, after I started to, to make the preparations uh, to put it on the winter home. So no one can tell me that uh, I was driving like uh, normal clothes. I didn't. It was uh, freezing outside. It was uh, six degrees, uh, and uh, when I drove it in hundred uh, hundred kilometers per hour, it was uh, freezing. So my hands uh, were quite. Uh, <laughs> cold. I will show you the picture here also. Let's take a look. Also, you can uh, leave a leave a comment uh, how you are preparing your bike uh, for cold uh, winter. Uh, I hope it's not very cold. <laughs> uh, show me your uh, tips and tricks uh, what I can uh, use uh, for the next year. Now uh, let's uh, go to drive and uh, come with me.
bike is tucked away for this winter and uh, uh, it's uh, waiting for the spring but uh, now uh, uh, I'm uh, heading inside to warm myself up and uh, if you like this content uh, hit thumbs up and uh, hit subscribe and uh, see you soon on the next video. Bye!